In this tutorial, we will take a look at creating a person or group column for a SharePoint list. A person or group column lets you select a name from a list of SharePoint users or groups on your site. In this example, I am in the process of creating a list for tracking fundraising events sponsored by our company. I have all the columns I need except for the Event Organizers column, which will contain the names of the employees who organize the events. Rather than using a blank text column where the employees' names would have to be typed in each time, I will use a person or group column so names can be selected from a list of SharePoint users. To create the new column, click on the List tab, and then click Create Column. The first thing I do is give the column a name, and I'm going to call this Organizers. For column type, I'll select Person or Group and then I'll enter a description for the column. I'm not going to require that this column is filled in so I'll leave that at no. Allow multiple selections, I will select yes because there's typically more than one person that helps to organize one of the events. For allow selection of, I'm going to leave this at people only. I will only be selecting individual names, not group names. The choose from option lets you select names from all site users or only users who are members of a specific SharePoint group. If you select a SharePoint group, then only names from that group will be provided to select from. Since these events can be planned by employees from anywhere in the company, I need to select all users. In the show field option, you can choose what information you want to display about the people selected. The default is name with presence, which displays an indicator next to the person's name if they are logged onto the SharePoint site. However, this only works if Windows Messaging is installed. Here is the list of other choices you have to select from. You could choose their name along with their picture, picture and other details, their email address, but I'm going to leave this at the default selection of name with presence. I do want to add this new column to the default view, so I'll leave that option checked. Then I'll choose OK to save my settings. So you can see the new column titled Organizers has been added to the far right of my list. And so I'll add a new item to my list. You can see in the new item form here the Organizers column I added is now a field at the bottom of the form. So I'll fill in the field information here for this event. I finished entering all the other field information about this event. The last thing I need to do is select the organizers. So I'll click inside that field, then I'll click on the Browse button. Rather than displaying a long list of names, you type a name in the Find box and SharePoint displays matches to what you typed. You can type either the first names or last names. So I'll enter the first name of one of the organizers here. After typing a name, either press the Enter key or click the Search. So here's my first organizer, and I can just double click on the name to add the name down in the add box. And then I have a second organizer, so I'll replace what I typed before with the second organizer's name. This time I will type in a last name, and it locates the name I'm looking for. Again, I'll double click the name, and it adds it down in the add box. Then I click OK to save. That returns me back to the new event form. Here are my two organizers. Then I'll click on Save. So here's my new event information and my two organizers display over in the Organizers column. So you can see how a person or group column saves data entry time, making it very easy to just select names from a list that already exists in SharePoint.